The cheekbone charm. High versus low. Hello, beauty enthusiasts. Today, we're going to dive deep into a question that many of you have asked. Is having high cheekbones more attractive than having low cheekbones? We'll explore the science, the cultural aspects, and the personal preferences that surround this fascinating topic. Let's get started. What are high and low cheekbones? Before we delve into the attractiveness factor, let's first understand what we mean by high and low cheekbones. High cheekbones are located directly beneath the eye socket, while low cheekbones are positioned closer to the bottom of the nose. This is largely a genetic trait, with variations occurring across different ethnicities and families. High cheekbones in popular culture. Now let's talk about high cheekbones, which have often been highlighted in the media and popular culture. Many models and actors known for their striking beauty, such as Angelina Jolie or Johnny Depp, have high cheekbones. This has led to a perception that high cheekbones are a sign of attractiveness and sophistication. In some cultures, high cheekbones are seen as a sign of youth and health. The Appeal of Low Cheekbones but what about low cheekbones? While they might not get as much attention in the media, they have their own unique appeal. Many people find low cheekbones to be equally attractive, contributing to a softer, more youthful appearance. Some cultures also associate low cheekbones with femininity and elegance. Beauty is subjective. While there are cultural trends and societal standards, it's essential to remember that beauty is highly subjective. What one person finds attractive, another may not. Beauty standards vary greatly across different cultures and individual preferences. Moreover, attractiveness extends far beyond physical traits and includes aspects such as personality, intelligence, kindness, and charisma. So, are high cheekbones more attractive than low cheekbones? There's no definitive answer to this question. Both can be equally attractive, and it often comes down to personal preference and cultural perception. The most important thing is to embrace your unique features and carry them with confidence. After all, true beauty radiates from within. Thanks for joining us today, and remember, you're beautiful just the way you are.